Nowadays, we don't really think about it, but Breaking Bad was just a moment in time from 08 to 2013. With that being said, towards the end of September, specifically the 29th, it'll have been 10 years since the iconic final episode of Breaking Bad. We're going to take a look at a few of the folks involved with this fantastic show and answer the question, what are the stars from Breaking Bad doing now? Starting off with the main character, Walter White, played by Brian Cranston. Born in Hollywood, California, Cranston has been nominated for just over 100 various awards, winning 58 of those over his entire career, which is absolutely insane. He must need a legit trophy room. Cranston has been very active since the finale and even the shooting of Breaking Bad, starring in many different series, voicing in many different cartoons, such as Family Guy and Robot Chicken. Before Breaking Bad was most known for Malcolm in the Middle, where he played Hal Wilkerson, father to Malcolm. Cranston started acting in 1980, his very first role as some random unnamed quarterback. Weird to see Brian Cranston this young to be honest. At the time of me writing this, he has starred in 163 projects, with two upcoming movies according to his IMDb page. The most recent series he's been involved with is a Showtime series, Your Honor, created by Peter Moffat, a crime drama starring Cranston as the main character. He plays a judge who, quote, confronts his convictions when his son is involved in a hit and run that embroils an organized crime family. Facing impossible choices, he discovers how far a father will go to save his son's life." Unquote. I've been planning on giving this series a chance one of these days because the premise sounds pretty intense and it sounds like something that I would really enjoy. And with season 2 being released in 2023, and season 1 being nominated for 9 awards and winning 2, I think we have to look out for this show in the near future. The most recent movie Brian Cranston has been involved with is a comedy drama Jerry and Marge Go Large, a Paramount movie directed by David Frankel. Written by Brad Copeland. Based on Jason Fagone's 2018 HuffPost article of the same name, Jerry and Marge Go Large is based on a true story. Retired, Jerry, played by Brian Cranston, figures out a loophole where if he buys enough tickets, they eventually make a greater return. With their profit, Jerry and Marge, who is played by Annette Benning, decides to revitalize their small town. The trailer looks alright. It was released last year 2022 and honestly probably just an entertaining movie to watch with you and your family or some friends nothing too revolutionary but regardless it's unreal how many series movies and cartoons brian cranston has been part of ever since his early days also with how many nominations and awards he won and to this day he is still as active as ever a real goat Jesse Pinkman is a fan favorite and also one of the main characters in Breaking Bad. He is played by Aaron Paul Sturdivant, or just better known as Aaron Paul, who was born on October 27, 1979, in Emmett, Idaho. His first role officially was some TV movie called Even the Losers, but I couldn't find any trace of this. But his first role in a series that we could find is as Chad in Miami 90210. Good night, good night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? Kiss her. We always knew Aaron would end up a Chad. Since then, Paul has been nominated for 27 different awards, winning 20 of them including three primetime Emmys. That win ratio is crazy. Before Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul was mostly starring in low budget movies and TV shows, sometimes getting minor roles in some big primetime shows like X-Files, CSI Miami, and Criminal Minds just to name a few. But what I personally think he was most well known for before his big break was actually playing a high school reject in the music video for one of Korn's biggest songs, Thoughtless, released in 2002 with 55 million views on YouTube. So no doubt that shit was on MTV quite a bit back in the day. During the shooting of Breaking Bad, Aaron wasn't really involved with too much other works, mostly just short comedy films 
in the odd voice acting role. He played Weird Al Yankovic in a parody autobiography. After the finale of Breaking Bad in 2014, with his Breaking Bad money, Aaron decided to be an executive producer of an adult animation produced by Netflix called Bojack Horseman, which was a very smart move for Aaron Paul, because now Bojack Horseman is on its sixth season. It is one of the most notable adult cartoons in the last few years, in which Aaron Paul also voice acts in the show, so overall, a complete W for him, especially just a year after Breaking Bad has ended. However, following that is one of his rare L's with the Need for Speed movie. From what I read, it was not very liked and poorly reviewed by fans. I mean, I haven't watched it, I just watched the trailer, and it kind of just looks like your typical action movie to me, but hey, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it, it might just suck. However, with that L, we can't forget a big W with 2019's El Camino, which I find very much enjoyable despite some of its flaws. I love seeing Jesse's much deserved outcome by the end of the movie. I'm not going to go much more into it in case you haven't watched El Camino for some reason, which if you haven't, you should. Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston both made a return cameo on the spin-off Better Call Saul. Again, I don't really want to spoil Better Call Saul, so I'm not going to say much about it in case someone just isn't caught up to it or something, or you just haven't watched it for some reason. So yeah, sorry for cooking you. The most recent series Aaron has been part of is season 3 of critically acclaimed HBO TV series Westworld. Caleb Nicholas is a war veteran and a blue collar worker whose primary occupation is that of a construction worker, but he occasionally takes extra criminal jobs through the RICO app. I've heard Westworld is quite an entertaining show from people, so I think I'm going to try and pick it up and see if I end up liking it. Giancarlo Esposito was born in Copenhagen, Denmark. Giancarlo's parents lived and worked in Europe until he was six years old, where they then moved to Manhattan. With parents already in the industry, he began on Broadway at eight years old. Giancarlo worked in Manhattan Broadway through the 60s and 70s. In the 80s, he had some small roles on various TV shows until, in 1998, he got a role in the seventh and final season of the four-time primetime Emmy-winning NBC crime drama Homicide, Life on the Street, which Giancarlo played FBI agent Mark Gialdo. God, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Having such a big role for such a successful series, of course, put Giancarlo Esposito on the map. Ever since 1998, he has had many successes. You honestly could make a whole video of Giancarlo's career from lending his voice to the anime cyberpunk edge runners. I believe I was clear when I requested only the navigation data, not Arasaka corporate property. To being the main antagonist of Far Cry 6, Giancarlo Esposito is a very talented, hardworking actor who deserves all the praise and awards he has gotten throughout his entire lengthy career. Much respect to this man. And uh, let me know if you want a full video on Giancarlo's career. Anna Gunn is from Santa Fe, New Mexico. She had a theater and drama background growing up, however Anna was able to transition to acting without much effort and easily able to go back to theater and drama. Anna Gunn got her breakout role in 2004 when she received a nomination for a SAG award for her character Martha Bullock on HBO's Deadwood. She has starred in many different shows and movies including Breaking Bad. Ever since playing Skylar White in Breaking Bad, Anna Gunn hasn't really been in any big shows or movies. Cause man, that Breaking Bad money must be something else man. The most recent show she has been a part of is a show called The Most Dangerous Game, where she plays chairwoman. Regardless of about how some of the fanbase feels about Skylar, I am a Skylar supporter. I wish Anna Gunn the best regardless of how some people seem to feel about her for some reason. Maybe it's just a meme, I don't know. But uh, we love her on this channel. Dean Norris is famous for being DEA agent Hank Schrader on Breaking Bad. But also, he's been a cop and anything related to that field in so many different shows and movies throughout the years. So it's no big shock that Dean Norris' biggest role is a badass racist DEA agent. Just after Breaking Bad ended in 2013, Dean played James Big Jim Rennie on the CBS series Under the Dome. Also when I say he's been a cop in damn near everything related in that field, 
I am not joking. He's been a SWAT team leader, a detective, a Detective Sergeant Goodhart in Hard to Kill, another SWAT team leader on Terminator 2 Judgment Day, a state trooper, a sheriff, a police captain, pretty much all variations of a cop. Nowadays, Dean Norris just seems to kind of be chilling, seems to be on cameo, so you can pay him to say pretty much whatever you want. Hey there, sussy gussies, what up primals? Now, I know that you've been uh, hanking your Schrader to cupcakes till your left leg goes numb. And um, that has led to many, many memes coming from Dean Norris. Honestly, all the memes to come from Dean Norris having a cameo is just legendary. Like him calling Walt a sussy baka. I saw that you wanted, don't lie to me, Walt, you sussy baka. Um, but listen, you're watching too much uh, lowly hentai. Just so legendary, man. Dean Norris also made an appearance on Better Call Saul. Speaking of, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like to let me know that you might want a Better Call Saul update on these actors and actresses, as I am also working on that video as well, which is why I didn't cover Saul or Mike or any of those other characters from, from Better Call Saul. Those will be covered in that video, so subscribe for more things like this. Uh, I've been gone for like half a year. However, it was it was not for nothing. I've been slowly improving mentally and physically the past couple of months and now I'm just ready, man. I'm ready to jump back in and do the best I can and give you guys this content. It takes quite a while to make a video as it is not my main focus in my life right now. As I have other things I'm also trying to get done. I appreciate 600 subscribers, guys. Uh, I have no real ending to this video. It's just so crazy to me. It's been nearly 10 years since Breaking Bad ended as I'm recording this. I would have been barely 10 years old when Breaking when the Breaking Bad finale aired and now it's changed my life in ways some people can only imagine and it's, I think it's gonna continue to change my life for the near future. This has been Deacon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.